Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to Waste or Worth It Wednesday. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about some new products that I came across at the drugstore. I was shopping at uh, Walmart, I believe, or Target, and I saw these um, new NYC um, lip blackers and they say new on here so they automatically caught my attention so yeah I'm just gonna tell you a little bit more about these lip blackers and let you know if they are a waste of your money or if they are totally worth it now I did want to mention really quick that I think um, this series the waste or worth of Wednesday I'm not going to be doing it every Wednesday um, I'm probably gonna do it once um, like every other week if that makes sense just because it's so hard to choose what products I want to show you guys. I really don't want to just buy crap and then like show it to you guys. I want you guys to see products that you are actually interested in. If that makes sense. Like I said, I just, I don't want to just buy anything and then like show it to you. Um, I'm mostly intrigued by new products because I know that everybody is intrigued by new products. Because you want to see if they are worth it or if they're just like a waste of your money. So I think that's what I'm going to do from now on. Um, so probably next Wednesday I won't have a video um, of this series. So just know that I'm not going to cancel this series. I do like it and I know you guys enjoy it as well. But I'm just not going to be doing it every Wednesday. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Again, these are the new NYC lip lacquers. They have a lot of colors I would say they do have a pretty nice variety of choice these are the ones that I picked up because these are the ones that I saw myself wearing the most I'm gonna go through them really quickly the first one is this really nice like baby pink and this one is called Central Park Passion it's a really pretty um, like I said like a baby pink and this does not have any shimmer. It's almost like a mask, but on a gloss form. So it's this one right here. Let me give you a little bit more of a swatch. So it's this one right here. Now they do have a, I don't know how to describe the smell. It's not unpleasant. It smells like, it reminds me of a candy, but I can't put my finger on it. It smells kind of sweet. So yeah, again, this is Central Park Passion. Really nice pink if you're into um, like those baby doll type of pinks. Now the next one is called Bear Brooklyn. And if you can see it, it's a very nude color. I was intrigued by this because I do like to wear nude colors. And this one was just like a pale nude. So I figured I would give it a shot and see how it worked. And it's that one right there. If you can see that, it's this one. So it's a very, very pale nude. I think if you are on a darker skin tone, this probably wouldn't look the best on you because it will look a little bit white. And I'll tell you about how I like it on myself um, a little bit later. So again, that is Bare Brooklyn. And then the next one is probably one of my favorites. This one is called Turtle Bay Top, which it's a gorgeous color. It's really pretty. It's a really nice, like, terracotta, plummy brown, if that makes any sense. And it's this one right here. That one. Really pretty. Um, I think it's really nice for the summer, even for the fall time because it's more on the dark side. I know that a lot of people don't like to wear dark colors during the summer, but you guys know me, I don't give up. Now, the next one is, again, another one of my favorites. I love red lipsticks, especially the ones that have those blue undertones because they make your teeth look really white. So this one is called Rockway Ruby, and it's a true classic red. This one, it is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, it has those nice blue undertones which will make your teeth look white. And it's this one right here. Really pretty, nice, bright, vibrant red. And then the last one that I have is called Riverside Romance. And this one is more of a peachy pink type of color. I've been into coral lipsticks and like lip glosses lately. I don't know why. 
I just feel like they suit my tan skin really nice. So it's this one right here. I don't know how it will show up on the camera, but it is like a like a coral pink. And it is really, really pretty. So now that we saw the swatches, um, let me just talk about the product itself. So first of all, the packaging, uh, it's okay. Take into consideration that NYC is a really, really cheap brand. These retail for $3.99 a piece, which is really cheap for a lip lacquer or a lip gloss, however you want to call them, that, that is really cheap. So the packaging is not going to be the cutest or the best. Now the applicator is probably the worst thing in this whole package. I hate the application of this. It's like a dope food applicator and it just sucks. When you, when you put in the tube to pull out the product, you barely get any. I mean, you do get some. That's how much you get. And you don't get any on the other side, like some other applicators where you can swipe it on your lips and then on the other side, do it on your upper lip. That's not going to happen with this. So you do have to stick it back in a couple of times and then go over your lips. So as far as the application itself, it's not the best. Again, I mean, these products are pretty cheap, so they're not going to invest as much on the actual products, um, like the packaging and things like that. So if you're picky when it comes to, you know, the application of a lip gloss or a lip lacquer, you're probably not going to like this because, again, it is kind of a pain in the ass to just keep uh, going back in and then reapplying it and just putting it all over the lips. Um, now, another thing is that... I feel like with any lip lacquer or any lip gloss, they tend to feather out if you don't have a lip liner to stop that. So these do feather out on me. I do have to wear a um, lip liner underneath and then place this on the top so it doesn't feather out to my lips. Because if you don't, this can get pretty much everywhere if you're eating, which is not cute. So I do recommend for you guys to wear a lip liner. Um underneath this if you are wanting to use them now the actual product itself or the formulation I think it's pretty good I mean you saw the swatches you don't really need that much layers to get a really nice opaque color the colors are opaque on their own I mean you can build it up and get it a little bit more intense but I don't think it's necessary because the color payoff is pretty spot on also, I did notice that these last on me for about maybe three to four hours if I don't eat or drink or anything like that. So they do have a pretty good um, lasting power as far as on your lips. And after a while, I do start seeing them just come off just a tad bit. Now, if you do eat, drink, whatever, um, you might want to take it off because, I don't know, it's just me. I don't like the feeling of having lip gloss on my lips while I'm eating. Um, if I have like a matte lipstick like I have right now, I don't mind it because I can't feel it. Now, is it a product that you absolutely need in your makeup collection? No, I don't think that you absolutely need them. I mean, they're not the best thing out there in the drugstore market. They are good and the colors are really nice. Um, they do have some other ones that have like that metallic finish which I am not into. So yeah, I mean if you do like these type of like lip lacquers, like a shininess to your lips, then I think you are going to enjoy these. Again, you just want to make sure that you apply a lip liner on your lips before you apply these. And another thing that I did really like about these um, lip lacquers is that they're not sticky. When I apply them to my lips, they just kind of, they're very velvety, they're very smooth. So if you keep moving your lips back and forth, you're not going to get that nasty stickiness that usually tends to transfer from lip to lip. So that's not what's going to happen with these. So overall, I think they are a good product. Again, if you are on the hunt for maybe some really nice um, lip lacquers that are going to deliver a really nice color payoff. I think you should pick them up, but again, it's not something that you absolutely need to get like right now. So I don't think that these are a waste of your money because again, the product is good. I just, again, don't think that they are necessary in your makeup collection. So for me, they are um, worth it. Again, the products, I give it about 
Um, I would say a B plus because the formulation itself I like. Um, the packaging is okay. The durability or at least the longevity of how much these last on your lips is pretty amazing for $3.99. So if you guys again are on the hunt for these, um, just make sure to um, pay attention to which colors you are looking into again because some do have that metallic finish. Unless you're into that, then you probably won't like them. So I believe that is everything that I wanted. So I believe that is everything that I wanted to talk about the actual products. So yeah, I I believe um, that is everything. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the lip swatches. You guys know that I always have lip swatches for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.